Now, there is a skin layer, you can see. McDonald's actually used to use lard to fry all their fried food in. All right, so we just got back from the butcher shop. We had to go back and we had to pick up our lard. So we ended up getting the leaf lard, which is really good. That's the cleanest lard you can get. It doesn't have any pork flavor. It's really good for baking with, and it's really healthy. You can fry anything in it, and it doesn't, it's not gonna take on any pork flavor or anything. So, we got to the butcher, he set it aside for us, he put it in a box, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cut it up, put it in freezer bags for now, so we can store it in the freezer until we're ready to render it down and make our lard with it. The stuff is frozen, so hopefully it cuts pretty easy. I'm just gonna be needing some Ziploc bags, cutting board and a knife. It's in good sized chunks right now, so I just wanna cut it into manageable slices so we can freeze it and render it down later. Now, there is a skin layer, you can see, on the top of it. If you warm this up in your hands, it would be supple. It'd be just like Crisco if you warmed it up in your hands. So what, you gotta, so what rendering it does is it gets off the coating, breaks down all the impurities, and then you're just gonna strain it out, and you're gonna have nice, clear, rendered fat to use for cooking and baking, and that'll look like Crisco. We'll be doing a video on that. So for now, we're just gonna cut it up, freeze it, until we have time to render it down. But this is what it looks like before it's rendered. And this is just, it's just big glumps of fat. They're up by like the kidneys and different areas inside the pig. This is what soaps used to be made out of back in the day. McDonald's actually used to use lard to fry all their fried food in. So this is actually healthier than Crisco. So when McDonald's used to fry all their food, or especially their french fries in it, it was a lot healthier for you. They also said that it gives it a lot better flavor. And when they stopped frying the french fries in the lard, that's when they started using like MSG and stuff, is to give it more flavor because it lost the flavor of the lard once they started using vegetable oils. The butcher that we go to, every time I asked him about the lard and saving it, he said, yep, not a problem. And if you ever need any more, to call me up and I'll set it aside and save it for you. Most people don't want the lard with it from their pigs. So even if you're not raising pigs and you wanna to try to find some good lard, you don't know where to get it, call your local butcher shop. There's a guy that he's gonna cut up wild game or anything. If he doesn't have it, I'm sure he can set it aside for you. He may or may not charge you for it, but if he does charge you for it, it's not gonna be very expensive. All right, so now that we have all the lard cut up, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna weigh it. So those two bags weigh 7.8 ounces and 4.8 ounces. So we got 12 and a half pounds of leaf lard that we need to render now. <clears throat> we don't have time to do it today. We gotta go bring Olivia to a trunk or treat potty. That should be pretty fun. So. The next time you see us with the leaf log, we'll be making a video on rendering it. We're gonna use the crock pot for that. It should take around an hour and a half. Maybe a little bit more now, because we have 12 and a half pounds to do. But 
And we're gonna, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna can it up so we can save it. And then we'll be cooking and baking with it throughout this winter. We'll be taking you guys along to show you how we're doing that. If you have any questions on the leaf lard or lard in general, or if you have any good recipes to be using the lard with, if you have recipes for making soap with lard, let me know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. Now we gotta go find some room in our freezer to store this stuff. Mm -hmm.